Well, hello, beautiful souls. It's your girl, Jane, coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video might get a little feathers ruffled. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about 10 overhyped, overrated fragrances that I absolutely love. So if you guys are interested in seeing what fragrances I'm talking about and why I love them, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So if you are new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jane. Welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the family and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from moi. Now let's get into it. Now I know, I know, I know I look a little different. Your girl's blonde for a little bit. I did do a get ready with me. I'm not sure if the video is up before this one or after this one, but stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm going to leave all the details in the description box, so don't worry. But <laughs> today's lip combo is a little bit of a concoction, so bear with me. I'm going to speed through it. I'm going to leave all the information in the description box along with all the makeup details in case y'all are interested. This hair wrap is from Amazon because I know I'm going to get some questions. I used two lip liners. One is from Milani. This this is their understatement lip liner in the shade Rich Cocoa. The other one is the Line Loud lip liner from NYX in the shade Make a Statement. And then I went in with two liquid lipsticks, y'all. I know I was doing the most. Both are from Lime Crime. The first one I used was in the shade Rustic and the second was in the shade Cupid. And then I topped it all off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Kirsten. So. <laughs> It was a lot going on. I didn't know like what I wanted to go with and I have the blonde hair along with the wrap. It was just a lot. That's the lip combo for today and it was a combo, okay? It was a concoction of everything. This first one, I would say is probably the most hated fragrance. <laughs> the, the first two are probably the most hated. You already know what I'm gonna say. You already know. If you don't say the first one, you're definitely going to say the second one for sure. So let's say it on three. One, two, three. Baccarat Rouge 540. Yes, yes. Let me know if you said Baccarat Rouge 540 in the comments below. Let me know. Also, let me know you send the day. It's nighttime right now. I'm going to take a shower after this so I don't have a scent of the night on right now. But you guys already know. You already know. And if you don't know, you're about to find out. Baccarat Rouge 540 is, of course, your sweet, floral, woody, ambery, just spicy, just absolutely gorgeous, elegant, airy, just incredible masterpiece of a fragrance. It has been duped and replicated. So many people wanted to be him, her, it, whatever, so much to the point where I feel like some people got tired of it. But me, I can never. I prefer the Extrite because it has a little bit more of an oomph and I love that nutty almond, that bitter almond. Ooh, but I would say like for me personally, the OG Baccarat Rouge 540 is more like spring, summer. It's more airy, it's more fun, or it's more daytime. And then the Extrite is more nighttime. So it's giving a little bit more zhuzh. You know, it's giving, it's giving a little something. Everyone hates this fragrance, but you can never get me to hate this fragrance. Like It's like either you hate it or you love it. And I feel like the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. But I don't judge you if you don't like it. Like, if you don't like it, I get it. Because when I first smelled it, I really didn't care for it. But then, like, the more I smelled it and the more I wore it, I just loved it and loved it. And then I understood, like, it kind of clicked for me. Like, oh, yeah, these niche, luxurious fragrances, they got something going. Not all of them, but, like, Francis Kirkjohn, his nose is, like him Quentin Beige like it's like a few perfumers out there that just ooh, it's like their brains are like mat they just they're masterpieces in there I don't know they have some creative juices now let's go ahead and get into the next one right we're gonna go ahead and say the next one because everyone hates on this one too one two three black opium y'all already know if you've been watching me for any length of time y'all already know I will I <laughs> said that I'm a ride for my mom I'm not <laughs> I will go hands up. I don't care who you are. If you ever came like face to face talking to me crazy about black opium, I'm gonna say like, like, let's go. Like hands up right now. The way people talk about black opium on the internet, they will never say this to someone's face who's wearing it. I guarantee you, I guarantee you. And <laughs> the slander, 
the slander that Black Opium receives baffles me. It baffles me because like she's a bestseller for a reason because she smells incredible. I absolutely love this scent. It's sweet, it's warm, it's spicy, it's floral. It's absolutely incredible. The white florals in here are done to perfection. The coffee is perfection. And yeah, this is just, it's absolutely beautiful. Like this is one of my favorite designer fragrances, period. And I will never accept the slander that Black Opium gets. Back in, when was it, 2021? When all the, the big YouTubers, and I want to name drop so bad, but I don't want to get demonetized. So I want to keep my little coin that I get. But like the YouTubers that had some, some subscribers, you know, were calling Black Opium trashy, basic, ghetto. I just want to know how can like a perfume be ghetto? How can a perfume be trashy like that like i just it, it doesn't register for me but anyways black opium she will always be in my collection all of these fragrances will always be in my collection but this one in particular if my collection were to vanish or burn down or something this will be one of the first fragrances i would run out and get like right away yeah that black opium slander will not be tolerated over here i'm not gonna block you or nothing i respect your opinion but she might not be for you but she's for me another one that people seem to either love or hate i can understand why people don't care too much about this scent but i personally love the versatility of this scent this is kaoli's vanilla 28. i feel like this fragrance has been hyped so much but i love just that warm sweet brown sugary aspect of the fragrance i love that orchid note in here as well this is just the perfect like vanilla extract fragrance but it has that brown sugary warmth in here i just love this for layering i love wearing it on its own i just love just how versatile she is you can wear her on her own you can layer her with other scents you could just really do whatever i just love keeping a vanilla 28 with me at all times because she is going to do what she needs to do every single time so i don't understand why people don't like her that much i mean i get it like if you're not a big vanilla fan i get it but if you like vanilla i feel like she is a staple she's like a no-brainer to me i feel like she's hyped but she's hyped for a reason and i feel like i don't know she should continue to get the love that she deserves so yeah Vanilla 28 from Kaoli, she's that girl and she will always be that girl and we should just continue to give her the praise that she deserves and this was in Mona's initial launch so like the fact that she's still getting that same degree of hype and it's been what, well she was launched in what during the pandemic right around that time, I'm here for it so girl do your thing Mona keep doing it keep doing it. Now this I guess collection had everybody in a chokehold for years. I mean, it still got me in a chokehold, so I'm just saying. Delina, Delina Exclusive, Delina La Rose, they just bring in all the Delinas out. I know that they just launched the limited edition Delina like bottle with the roses on it, girl. Look, <laughs> apart from Jamal, if you're watching this, go ahead and send me that bottle if y'all like. I would love to have that cute little bottle, but I got all three, baby. Like, I love the Delina DNA. I am a Delina Exclusive safe girl but you <laughs> picture me rolling catch me with all three like i love the delina dna now let's start off with the og of course your og delina she's your bright she's your fresh your zingy tangy rhubarb fruity floral with that musk with that woodiness she's absolutely gorgeous extremely long lasting but then they came out with delina exclusive which is personally my favorite from the line she was my wedding day fragrance she's sweet she's creamy she's powdery she has that vanilla touch she doesn't have that rhubarb note but she has that sweet juicy lychee note lychee she's absolutely incredible i love love that incense note as well so you get a little bit of that smokiness this is a gorgeous 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 fragrance super romantic romantic in my opinion but it has that like sexiness now la rose is the newest addition to the delina line she is more of like delina but less tart more 
aquatic and watery fresh quentin beach he did his thing with all three of these ladies and i just i just love it and the fact that la rose is very fresh airy watery aquatic she's still very long lasting i just i don't know how he did it but he did it i absolutely love the whole delina collection i'm personally a powerful mr marley fan it's one of my favorite like luxury niche houses probably my favorite i would say yeah my favorite because i just adore how they do fragrances like the perfumers that they choose how they do fragrances their bottles the presentation just the elegance the story behind the fragrances i just love what parfums de marley is about and i'm just here for it i love delina i love delina exclusive i love delina la rose so i would say that that line is an overhyped highly highly talked about collection that i think is worth it i love it i absolutely love it and i'm so happy to have them so again if y'all watching go ahead and send me that new one because i would love to show the guys and the girls what that new bottle is talking about all right next is one that's also pretty like hyped up but hated on i would say like this might be like hyped up and hated on most hated <laughs> I don't know. This scent in particular is Good Girl from Carolina Herrera. This scent is, I feel like it's absolutely beautiful. It is just very like dark, mysterious, sexy. It's warm, it's floral, but it also has like a lot of like depth to it. It has some woodiness. It has a little bit of a coffee touch to it. It has a lot going on in this fragrance, but it's so sexy. It's kind of like you can't really pinpoint anything. On my skin, I do get a lot of the white florals. I get a lot of the vanilla. I get a lot of the coffee. It's just very sexy and just sensual. And I feel like the vibe really matches the heel to me it's i don't know just very sexy and sensual and my wife likes this on me a lot she, again like i said in my previous video she's like the gordon ramsay of fragrances she does not like many fragrances so when she does like a scent on me i tend to try and gravitate towards those when i'm around her or like when we're going on a date because she doesn't like a lot of the fragrances that i like because she's not she doesn't really have a sweet tooth like that she likes more like woodier sexier more sensual scents that aren't too sweet good girl i think she's very nice like i really really like her and this is one that i'm definitely going to keep around because i gotta make wifey happy and this makes me happy as well all right so these next two i'm going to kind of talk about together because i couldn't choose which one i wanted to have in this place so i'm going to be talking about lira from the cosmorati line from zerjoff and italica from the same line now i couldn't choose which one because i absolutely love both i personally like italica a little bit more but the hype between the two are just out of this world and i feel like in the fragrance community either your team lira or your team italica i'm kind of team both but i'm a little more team italica but i love them both so so much and i get complimented on both so so much so i would say personally if you like very gourmand citrusy with a little bit of an aromatic touch vanilla you will really like lira it doesn't go too cakey on me but it is really sweet it's more of a very nice gourmand vanilla but to me it's not like extra 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 like tooth rotting sweet but it's sweet enough in my opinion but if you want something very sexy sensual and gourmand i think italica is the way to go this to me is a very sweet fruity almondy lactonic it goes cherry like though like the almond goes cherry and i think it's just so so sexy so depending on like what type of vibe you like will depend on which one you would go for again i do prefer italica but i love lyra as well and i don't know they're just really 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 nice fragrances but they're both very 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 hyped up but i love them both and they're very much so worth that i really really enjoy them a lot i think they're worth it it's just a 10 out of 10 like i really enjoy the wear of both of them next we have a more affordable fragrance this one has been hyped up oh my god over the years but i feel like it, the hype kind of calmed down over the last couple of years this is casablanca from swiss arabian if you're looking for something that's so delicious 
oh my gosh you would absolutely love this this to me is just a nice sweet warm spicy caramel apple to be completely honest it is absolutely gorgeous it is worth every single penny the girls made this price jump honey i remember you could get this on amazon for like 25 or 30 dollars and they came out with an extrite version it's called essence of casablanca i have a dedicated review on my channel if you're interested i'll leave that up in the eye in the sky for you guys to check out but <laughs> this scent is absolutely incredible it's so delicious and for this to be as intense as it is the extrite version is even more intense and that is mind-blowing but it is so 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 good it is so good to be an Arabian Middle Eastern fragrance absolutely love Casablanca from Swiss Arabian and personally I like the extrite even better because the presentation is even more luxurious so yeah beautiful scent now this fragrance that I'm about to talk about put this house on the map along with another fragrance but I personally like the Extrite more but this one is very nice as well this is Gris Charnel this one oh my gosh it was so hyped up in like 2021 this one isn't talked about as much now but it is absolutely gorgeous I love this scent this is a beautiful warm spicy fig fragrance it has a beautiful black tea note in there as well i love that cardamom that's in here and to me this is a perfect rainy day fragrance so i love the fact that this was hyped up because it really got me into a fig note because i never really knew what a really good fig fragrance smelled like until i smelled this so yeah, this one is absolutely beautiful and this one really got me to fall in love with the House of BDK and now, I don't know if you can see, I have like, I don't know, what, eight or nine BDK fragrances now. So this one <laughs> really, really got me into BDK. So I'm really grateful for this one, but yeah, it smells really nice. It performs really well. The Extrite performs even better and... Yeah, this one will always be in my collection, period. But this one, I would say, was super, super hyped up like a few years ago. But this one is very much so worth the hype, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. And I'm so happy that it's in my collection. Now, this one, I would say... I'm probably the culprit of the hype because I talked about this fragrance nonstop for probably two years because I loved it so much. I went through a 50 mil in probably six months. This is Born Aroma from Valentino. I think I went through a 30 mil and a 50 mil because I got a 100 mil. Yeah, I've gone through two bottles of this fragrance. This scent is absolutely gorgeous. Like this is a sexy scent it's sweet it's fruity it's woody it has this cashmere note that is just so captivating i love black currant and fragrances and this opens with that black currant note it has a note of jasmine in it so it's a little bit fresh and floral it is just impeccable impeccable i really had to like put this away because this was one of the fragrances I could not stop wearing because it just was so sexy. This is also a fragrance that my wife likes on me as well. So y'all already know I was spraying myself down. But I love this fragrance personally. This is one of my most complimented fragrances in my collection, period. I have about probably 25 fragrances that I know if I wear it, I'm going to get complimented when I walk out of my door, whether it's from friends, family. So if you are looking for a fragrance that is going to garnish you compliments, this is the one to definitely go for. If anyone asks me for a fragrance recommendation, I always say smell this one in the store or spray it on your skin, walk around. I'm 90% sure you will like it if you enjoy similar fragrances to what I like. And I, I still love it just as much as I did a few years ago, a couple of years ago. So beautiful scent i'm still here for it and last but certainly not least we have one that i actually did not love when i first got it but over the years well year it has really grown on me and i really enjoy this a lot this is herba pura from zerjoff now a lot of people either love this or they hate it but this is super super hyped in the fragrance community i would say probably a couple years ago maybe even a year ago this one is super intense now this one is like a fruity, ambery, woody fragrance. I really enjoy the fragrance. I think it's very intense. This is one that you 
definitely cannot overspray because you will choke yourself out especially if you're not really privy to amber but this one is so sexy to me like it has this sexy nuance to it you like command the room with that dry down and oh, and the bottle is just stop it stop it when twisted lily sent this my way i was like you know what i think wait is this the this is the only fragrance i have in this list that was sent to me in pr hmm. But anyways, when Twisted Lily sent this my way, I was like, hmm, I don't think I'm going to like that too much. But the longer that I've had this and the more I've worn it, the more I really enjoy it. I think that it just depends on the occasion that you wear this to and also your mindset. If you want to feel ultra feminine, this is not the scent for you. But if you want to feel powerful, if you want to command a room, this is definitely an amazing option. So yeah, Urban Pure from Zerjoff is beautiful it's very hyped but i will say as a woman this is one that i think is beautiful i think it's a great option if you you know want to have something that's impactful powerful and attention grabbing but spray it delicately do not overspray this fragrance and you would definitely get some compliments now you should wear this fragrance don't let it wear you and i think that's where some people go wrong with this one they don't have the confidence to wear this one because it is pretty intense so Herba Pura from Zerjoff, beautiful scent. And I'm so happy to have this one as well. All right, y'all, so that's all I have for you today. What did you think about my list today? I feel like these are just, these are my babies. And what are some fragrances that you have that are super, super hyped up, but you love? I think that it is okay to have hyped up fragrances and really love them. If they're hyped up, that means they're really, really good. Like there's nothing wrong with feeding into the hype and really enjoying the hyped up scents like i don't see a problem with that at all if you are new to my channel i do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me into the end or whatnot and for today's video go ahead and leave me the sun emoji so i know you guys made it until the end i love you guys so so much and i will see you all in the next one Bye.